All right. Because some people want to see a little uh, a little walkthrough of what I've got done so far in my Fantasy Star project, I'm going to give you guys a little fly through of what I've got done so far and what I'm working on um, for the Fantasy Star project. And we're going to start. Um, hmm. I guess we'll start right at the the. Uh, the main, the main house, uh, which would be Alice's house. Huh? Yeah, I made flowers. Uh, which will be Alice's house. So let's get this uh, show on the road, shall we? All right. So with the Fantasy Star project, I'm starting with Fantasy Star 1, of course, uh, because Fantasy Star 1 is the game that I love the most out of the series arguably not the best out of the series, but it's definitely one that got me involved in role-playing, uh, hands down got me involved in role-playing for my entire life. Uh, it's the first role-playing game that I've ever played, and I'm pretty happy about that. So, I decided to do Minecraft version of Fantasy Star 1. And so, we start with Cam and Eat. That was Alice's house. This is the warehouse. Of course, it's green like the dungeons. Uh, color in the or original game. So dungeon colors are the same here as they are in the original game. And we've got Alice's house, or Elisa's house. We go over and that's Suelo's house, which is where you go to rest. And of course, we have our little area. It's nice and... These are, these are lights, yes. Just to keep it lit up to make it look like a real, you know, a real town. A real town. Um, I have sound turned off. Let me turn sound back on for the game. There we go. And uh, the elevator, that is the height indicator. That's just so that when I'm creating other stuff in other areas, I can just teleport here and see where it's supposed to be. Uh, the elevator, because as everybody should know, Kameny, the spaceport, and Paralit are all floating cities. The elevator works, and it does work in multiplayer, uh, so when I get this turned into a multiplayer server, the elevator will work in both directions. That is, if I didn't break it. Speak of the devil. Oh, there we go. Um, so the elevator obviously works. I don't have any of the ground level, uh, uh, details or anything, but the fact that the elevator works for going from Camney to the ground below and then back up is pretty awesome, I think. Uh, second elevator there. These uh, little divots are just so that I can see where things are supposed to be located. Uh, each quadrant from divot to divot is one tile on the overworld map. Um, so that was just so that I could see what was going on and where things were needing to be placed. Anyway, back to Kamini. We'll take an overview of it. We've got the church. We've got the three shops. We've got the houses. We've the got... There's no hospital here. Oh, we've got the, uh, the, the warehouse. We've got the wall around Kamini and Kamini proper. And then we have our railway to the spaceport the railway also works. It's a little bit slower because of the scale I had to use in the game. Um, the scale in the game in Minecraft is a one, it's not a one-to-one -one direct scale, but it's two scale. Uh, in other words, everything in here is of the same scale as it was on uh, in the original game. Uh, and what that means is that Kamini, for every one tile in Kamini, or for every eight tiles in Kamini, you had one tile on the overworld map. And so there was, some, uh, there was some stuff that needed to be done to make the overworld map look the same as the overworld map in the game when you're outside of the towns. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, just, a, just a little... A little... Um, uh, indication of why it's it's uh, going to look a little different. Uh, and so we just took the rail from Kamenit to, to the spaceport. 
and we've got our nice little spaceport. Um, and as you can see, there's extra green on the sides of the spaceport that's at the same level here. That's because on the on the adventure map, on the world map, the spaceport is larger than it is when you do everything inside. It's the same thing on one side of Camney, which is where I started. That's that area over there. It's uh, 32 tiles wide by 24 tiles high. And at a 1 to 8 ratio, it should be 32 by 32, which gives us that little extra there. And because that's the ratio I'm using, it's, it sets everything else up a little bit differently. Uh, so we have extra on the sides of some, some towns. We have extra on the sides of a lot of towns. So we're going to go over to Paralit now, because Paralit is also done. And there we go. We just took the we just took the uh, the rail. We just got to Paralit. That rail works too. I'm doing this because I have a special treat for you people. Um, so in Paralit, there's really nothing much to do except for go to the shops, right? So there's the shops. And of course the hospital because you need to heal and you have nowhere else to heal in here. And so we go to the hospital which is set up much like a real hospital with uh, intake and um, a different intake room. And of course we need to go show you the, the ward, right? right? So we've got... The the ward, the hospital ward, which has a waiting room and an inpatient room, operating room, whatever you want to call it, and then the recovery room, yeah, or, or vice versa. And then we go back downstairs. That's the hospital. The hospital looks the same in every town. And then, oh, what the hell's that? Oh, what's that blue stuff? Oh, pixel art, because I decided to take a little break. And pixel art, obviously, from Fantasy Star 1, Dark Falls, and Alice and Company. Which brings us to our next area. That is the Medusa Cave. And you'll notice, again, there's nothing on the overworld yet down here. I wanted to do a cave, so I brought everything over to get to the cave. The cave is done. The outside of the cave is not done. The cave itself is done. <coughs> so then, and this is where, this is where the, uh the scale comes into a little issue. Like, if we go all the way up, it looks great when we're flying above it. It looks just like the world map. But when we come down, each one of these tiles is 32 by 32. Poses a problem. So there's going to be a little bit of uh, creative license here. I'm going to throw farms and little houses, little rinky-dink one-person one houses and whatnot in there to make it look li more lively. Also, the forest that is supposed to be here is not here. I've got to do that. So then we go out of the out of the uh, Kamenit proper, and anybody who's anybody knows that this is the way to Zion. And so we go all the way over here. Oh no, I take that back. It doesn't go to Zion. It goes to the Zion Cave, which is. Let's turn that back off. There we go. Scion Cave with working traps. Yes, I did say working traps. This cave is completed. Locked door. Go in the locked door. Anybody who knows the game knows that if you go through this door, you're going to fall to your doom. And so we go through this door here and say, Hi, hi traps. How are you? And the traps say, I am good. How are you? Unfortunately, I did not have enough room to hide the red stone when you fall. I did not hide the red stone when you fall. Um, however, every trap in here works. It brings you all the way down to sub-level 4, which is where the bottom level of this is. This entire dungeon is done. <clears throat> so we're going to go back out because I don't feel like breaking walls to get out. And then from here we're going to go north. And directly north of here is... There it is. Nope. That is not it. 
directly north of here, of there. I thought was Scion, but no, Scion's actually over here. And here we have Scion, the port town, which is also completed. Port town is also completed. Uh, I want to add some some ambiance here and add like a couple of ships in the port. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. In any event, there's some minor ambiance that I also want to add to the docks themselves, which I've started over there. You can see the chests over there um, and whatnot, and the lighting and the gating. But I'm not done with that yet. So, And then we go up to the Bayamele prison. The prison. Oh, the prison. I s the prison. Of course. This is the exit that everybody comes out of and nobody knows how to get back into because when you get thrown in jail, this is where you come out. And this is the main exit to the prison itself, to the prison proper. So you go in here and you say, all right, it's time to go into the prison. Now I could have made this so that this entrance was right here instead of way the hell over here. But originally I wanted to make it over there. And then I found out that the dungeon is actually pretty goddamn big. The, dun the dungeon actually takes up the entirety of the four blocks that is on the overworld map. And so, oh, lock door. We go in. And we have our jail cells. And I'm lagging for some weird reason. Probably because I'm loading a lot of stuff. But we have our jail cells. All of which where if you go in... Ugh, for God's sake. Whew. Gotta love that lag. If you go in, you don't come out. You just don't come out. So, oh, lag. Loading lag is everywhere. It's because I have like 30,000 entities. Again, it's because of my um, uh, uh, current process, current progress rather. So, we're not going to go all the way through this. Oh wow. This is supposed to be... This is supposed to be set up so that you can exit here. There we go. There we go. So we leave and... And we go over to uh, the other side of the dungeon where we see... And I'm lagging again because the entities that I'm doing, it's with all the stuff that I'm doing on the other side. This is crazy. This is ha what was happening yesterday where I had to restart. It's because of Ugh. Actually move a bit away from where all the sand is and turn our... Um, render distance down so that we can do this. Okay. It, or not. There we go. Alright, so we have the prison and the mountain range which is uh, pretty goddamn high. And we get up to the frickin' leg. When we get to the top of the mountain, we can see on the start of Bay of Malay. <coughs> Bay of Malay. Malay. So we have part of the little upper area that goes up when you get to the plateau that's on the top of the mountain. And the start of the tower, which is all obviously a very basic start to the tower there with a very epic set of stairs going into the tower. And that's what I've got done so far. What I'm working on, what is causing all the lag that, that I'm complaining about here, is this part over here, which is basically the path up to the cave that goes to the top of the mountain. And so there's a lot of sand over here because I'm building it. This is what I'm working on. 